2018 Honda Clarity Car Review. The Good Points of 2018 Honda Clarity Premium feel, longer EV range than would be the plug-in norm, on the market nationwide. The Bad Points of 2018 Honda Clarity Its complexity is really a virtue except gets hot or isn't, heavier and fewer engaging drive an automobile than an Accord. Indeed, pollutions could be complicated. Consider the Clarity, which like its peers desires to be both a zero-emission battery electric vehicle as well as a range anxiety defeating gasoline-burning hybrid. Its primary locomotion comes by using a 181-horsepower electric motor that pulls juice coming from a 17.0 kWh lithium-ion battery power. Charging from your 240-volt tap takes about 2 plus a half hours. From your standard 120 volt wall plug, it's similar to 12. With its battery full, the Clarity can travel an EP estimated 48 miles on electricity before it needs to fire up a 103 horsepower 1.5 liter inland 4, extending total range in an EP aerated 340 miles. The gasoline engine spins an electrical generator to provide additional current to your motor and recharge the battery. Just about all can assist in directly driving the wheels, bringing the automobile's total horsepower to 212. This version on the Clarity possesses combined of 110 John electrons and 42 miles per gallon on gasoline. Modes upon modes. Now that's an extended paragraph and now we imagine anyone who isn't how watchy informed about plug-in technology has had their eyes glaze over at the it or just grown utterly confused. But that isn't including the half of it. The Clarity comes with a choice of three driving modes, Econ, Normal, and Sport, each delivering progressively more aggressive acceleration and pedal response. Its regenerative braking system has four settings, selected by paddles on either side on the steering wheel although none allows a genuine coasting mode. And there undoubtedly are a further three ways for controlling what sort of car deploys its battery charge. The Clarity certainly isn't one of the most complex plug-in hybrid inside the world, only its front wheels are impelled, for starters, but in contrast to something like the Chrysler Pacifica FEV, and that is just as an easy task to operate because the regular version on the minivan, the Clarity looks like a product created by engineers for engineers. Which is odd, since Honda seems seriously interested in giving the Clarity a mass market appeal, what with it being a real mid-size sedan which has a real trunk along with a roomy back seat that means it is a legitimate five-passenger vehicle. Indeed, the FEV is definitely the volume leader to the Clarity nameplate, that includes battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell models. All three share body structures and other underpinnings which has a front strut suspension plus a rear multi-link setup. But the plug-in model may be the only one bought in all 50 states and the merely one you can actually buy, period. The fuel cell clarity exists for lease only, and that's just in California, even though the battery electric model might be leased in Oregon in addition towards the Golden State. Honda has barely moved 1,000 of the two models combined in 2010. The Clarity FEV continued sale on December 1st using a base tariff of $34,290 as well as a long list of standard equipment including Honda Sensing Driver Assistance features, an extra $3,200 buys the leather and nave-quipped Turing model. But the real issue around the price is whether buyers could possibly get to use the present $7,500 federal tax credit, and that is threatened from the new tax law increasingly being reconciled by Congress. Honda says it expects to promote about 75,000 clarities, all three models combined, over the following four years. Even that relatively few could prove being an ambitious target to accomplish without the subsidy well isolated and insulated. 
On the street, the clarity feels as being similar to an overloaded Accord. Honda says the plug-in clarity includes a curb weight that tops 4,000 pounds, making it between 600 and 900 pounds heavier compared to the company's family sedan. While the clarity includes a premium feel to its well-damped ride, the tidy handling from the new Accord is nowhere to become found, compromised through the many unwanted weight of batteries within the back seat. Their placement provides car the lowest center of gravity, though the clarity feels just as if it reaches the side of its cornering limits prematurely, despite relatively wide 23545R18 tires. Steering effort is low, with plenty electric assist and many feedback yet not a lot. Isolation from road and engine noise, however, is certainly caused by excellent, at least and soon you encounter a steep hill using the battery depleted, whereby the little gas engine should rev towards the sky to hold the car moving. The clarity defaults to op like a battery electric vehicle prior to the charge drops near empty otherwise you stomp about the accelerator, prompting the gasoline engine arrive at life whereby your vehicle works like a hybrid. But you could also force the clarity to function in hybrid mode, because of conserving its battery charge or even for actually obtaining the engine recharge the battery power but only as much as 58% of the capacity. What you can't do is lock the clarity into an authentic Cal electric mode, being a big push on the accelerator beyond its mid-pedal stroke detent will immediately flip the clarity into hybrid mode so your vehicle can make its full power. Although the clarity can perform hitting 100 miles per hour on electricity alone, getting there without making use of gas requires patience plus an extremely light foot. For essentially the most part, the clarity delivers on its promise of mainstreaming plug-in technology. Each press with the start button resets its settings, so despite its inherent complexity which, for that record, we like. Its fev bits could be ignored with the average driver who just would like to get an and go. Which brings us back towards the central conundrum in the plug-in hybrid, it's a vehicular form that fairly demands that it is owners pay some care about how it works, what with its real attraction received from its ability to deliver predominantly gasoline-free commuting with no range limitations of your fully electric car. That value proposition hasn't changed since first Chevrolet Volt was sold exactly seven in the past this week. The industry hasn't had much success explaining the plug-in hybrid within the interim, even as being the number of FEVs around the market adjusted from just one single in 2011 to over two dozen with the 2018 model year. Good luck, Honda. You'll require it.